So today I'd like to discuss how to find your happiness. And for me, it's coming here to the beach. Um, or just being in nature, sometimes I find my peace and my happiness um, sitting in my backyard. Uh, especially during springtime, I like to watch things grow and watch the butterflies and the birds. And there's a lot of eagles where I live, so I love to look up and marvel. I marvel at everything. I marvel at what God has created. I see God in everything. He's in that ocean. He's in this sand. He's in me. He created me. And um, that starts to give you a real big sense of gratitude. Um, I'm grateful for being here. I'm grateful that he chose me. And even through the toughest times, when I look at all of this and I see that I'm a part of it, I'm like, wow, you, you can't help but to feel this sense of happiness that fills you, this sense of peace, this overwhelming sense of love. I'm like, he chose me and those possibilities are, are slim to none. Um, it, it's, it's amazing. So I'm amazed by everything that I have. And I go down the list of the things that I'm thankful for. And that grounds me. I find my happiness. I find my peace. Um, and, and the gratitude just fills my heart. When you start doing that, when you start marveling at the little things, when you go for a walk and then you really look at a tree or flowers, an animal, and you really start to think in the wonder of God and his creation and that you're so tiny in this great big world in this great big universe you know where we're straddling this earth and taking a trip around the Sun every day and it's amazing when you really think about it when you think how really small you are in the grand scheme of things you start to feel the love and the happiness and you start breaking through the veil and connecting with your spiritual side and that brings you happiness and i found through anything that i'm going through if i come here if i go for a walk sometimes it's just walking the dogs and just looking at the beautiful trees around here i'm in florida and you'll see little mango trees the little papaya trees and and it's amazing that that grows off a tree and i can pick it and enjoy the fruit of what god has given us literally um that really helps that really grounds you that really um brings to light that all the little things that have happened are not that big of a deal you know you start thinking of where you're going to be a hundred years from now and you start to really value every second you know they're precious and it starts to fill you up with excitement because even though um, it might have sucked for a little while. The, the idea of all these possibilities starts to really excite you and you start living a purposeful life. You start living a life with intention. You start going outside think, with your intention of, I'm going to do this today. And that empowers you and it continues to bring you happiness. So find your happy place. Go there. Go there often. Some, maybe it's when you're alone. Um, maybe it's when you walk your dogs, maybe it's when you walk in the park, um, gardening, reading a book, whatever it may be, find your happy place and sit there when you're not happy and take it all in, every second of it. I hope this helps and I hope everyone is out there trying to find their happy